okay we're going to install a fresh copy of the evng and i'm also going to use the previous virtual disk that i have created for evng where i have kept all my evng projects so these are the evng files ovo file that we need to install in inside the evng so when you download the ovo file from the evng site there will be a zip file then if you extract you will get these three files all right i'm going to keep my evng files inside the software and then virtual machine and i'm going to keep everything here you see i have only these three files these are the main files that we need so what i'm going to do open a virtual machine and i'm going to show it the directory software m.2d virtual machine evng this one and i don't want this one so i'll say evng and i'm going to show it the directory this is the one evng import it's done so i'm going to power this virtual machine it is going to ask for some initial configuration and i will keep everything whatever is by default root and then if and then i'm not going to change any password so i'll press enter fail to change password that's okay i'll keep passing everything as i said i'll let everything whatever is by default it is giving me the IP 192.168.10.131 okay, let's go 10.131 admin but if you see here I do not have any project files I should have some projects there the reason why because this is the only virtual disk I have it there and by default it does not have any project what I'm going to do I'm going to add another virtual disk here where I have kept all my previous project before I do that I'll show you so here I named it EVNG virtual disk backup these are the two disks EVNG VM which is 139 gig and this EVNG VM 0 42.5 gig now if you see EVNG com VM dash 0 I would not play with that numbers I will leave whatever it is same follows here I will not mess up with this thing I will never try to rename it one more important thing to show EVNG if you see here there is one more evng vm0 here and then evng vm disk 1 now the disk 1 is the actual bootstrap or boot file for the evng vm whenever the system boots up they use this file the disk 1 so i will not rename or play with this two either so what i'm going to do add hard drive scsi next and i will choose this one use an existing virtual disk because i already have it and browse now i'm going to show the directory from here first I'm going to show the big one that has 139 gig and then finish okay later on I will add the other one add next next and then I'll add this one this time 42.5 gig open finish okay and then I'll restart the VM it should not give us any error message but remember again do not rename or play with this thing if you rename it or if you do something here you might get some error now you see there is no error message the IP is the same one if I do refresh or it already kicked me out now if you see here all my previous projects are here thank you